1996, we started Forest Gems. My husband Harvey has been woodworking as a living now for over 30 years, where he's, and he started at the Pike Place Market. We work with only Northwest artists, and we specialize in West Coast woods. Styles will vary with each individual artist, and it's always fun to me to see somebody that does something very realistic. The next person may do something more abstract. This artist, he's usually out fishing when I'm trying to meet up with him, and so maybe in the morning he's got a real salmon in his hands, and in the afternoon he's carving one. Forest gems pretty much depends on the raw piece of wood to attract both the artist and the customer. And then what we like to see is somebody that works with that raw piece of wood to bring out the grain pattern, do a really nice finish, and show the wood in its best light. The hair barrettes we have show some of the woods that we work with, such as burled western maple, burled redwood, Oregon myrtle with a curly grain. This is spalted western maple. The fine black lines are from a fungus that grows through the wood. This is quilted western maple. Buckeye is a very unusual color with the gray and black. That's a variety of horse chestnut. This is more of the quilted western maple with a very three-dimensional grain and a darker piece of redwood burl. There are so many very three-dimensional and colorful grains in the main woods we work with that we just want the artist to work with nature and not against it, not try to overpower what nature is doing. I've made hand mirrors for probably almost 30 years now. They were one of the first things that I made combining function with beauty. I like that when you pick the mirror up, it's very tactile in your hand. You're not going to feel hard edges. You don't see hard edges. And the back of the mirror really lets you look at the wood grain and experience what nature's done so beautifully. We're always out there looking for new work, new items, new artists, and that's part of the fun for our customers as well. They come in, they, they look to see what's new. Every time I need a gift, this is where I come, <laughs> and I always find it. We started collecting birds, and I was attracted to how real they look to me. And we were allowed to meet Bob Ellis and his wife, Barbara which was a really a treat to us because we just love his work so much. The eagle is a present for my husband or our anniversary. That's a secret right now. <laughs> One thing we like to do in the gallery is have things in a wide variety of pricing. I don't want anyone to walk into the gallery and feel that it's too exclusive for them and that they don't belong here. Having a wide variety of styles and types and price ranges helps us include everyone that walks in the door as a potential participant. I was desperate for a Valentine's gift and I actually knew I would find it here in, while I was walking that morning in Port Angeles. So I drove here and actually did find it here. And it was uh, two chickadee birds on, mounted on a piece of wood and, and it turned out to be the, the perfect thing I was looking for. So it was very magical. Mm -hmm.